Activision Blizzard gets sued, Elden Ring has some serious issues on PC, Overwatch has some new content, Ubisoft cancels an event in the UAE, and for the first time in 20 years, Call of Duty will miss their yearly release. So starting off, as Microsoft is set to acquire Activision Blizzard, some people are not happy with the sale, and one of those people happened to be a shareholder who has now decided to sue Blizzard. In the lawsuit, they claim that the proposed sale is unfair for a number of reasons, one of which includes a significant and imminent benefit that will be going directly to senior management. They also claim that the sale itself is filled with a number of misleading and incomplete information that will hurt the shareholders and offer a golden parachute for CEO Bobby Kotick who is inevitably going to leave the company. Now Activision Blizzard did respond to the suit by saying that they disagree with the allegations and they will be defending themselves in court. Then moving on, Elden Rings has been out for a few days now and people have been really enjoying the game. There is one problem though and that is the fact that the game does not run very good on PC with a number of problems being highlighted. At the time of recording this video, reviews on Steam has been mostly mixed. Digital Foundry reports that there is a number of hardware configuration issues. You can encounter micro stutters when fighting enemies. There is also potential stock drops on top of that when you are covering lots of ground through the open world. Then there is also a bunch of frame rate drops. Now the publisher did respond to all of this by stating that they will be addressing everything in a new patch that is yet to be announced. Then a brand new event has been added to Overwatch in the form of the Reaper's Code of Violence challenge that is live right now and will include a novella. The event has been running from the 22nd of February and will continue through to the 8th of March. There is challenge rewards as well as a handful of cosmetics including new skins for winning games and watching certain streams. The challenge offers a Dusk Reaper skin which is a more practical take on the usual assassin strength code. They will also be including a new player icon and a bunch of sprays. The biggest thing here is obviously the new novella that will be running along with the challenge. This release is called the code of violence and as stated it will start the reaper so you can go and check that out right now. Then days after Ubisoft announced that their Rainbow Six Siege esports season will be going to the UAE, they immediately immediately withdraw due to some serious backlash that they were receiving due to the country's controversial stance on the LGBTQ plus related issues. Ubisoft confirmed on their official Rainbow account that the event will indeed be moved. We hear loud and clear that members of the international siege community questions this choice and we have taken the decision to move the 6th major of August 2022 to another Rainbow Six eSport region. The online petition that was drafted gained almost 14,000 signatures before the decision was made public, so as of right now it is official that the event will be moved. Then lastly, it is now being reported that for the first time in over two decades, Call of Duty will be missing an annual release. The 2023 release that is slated has been pushed back according to sources that is familiar with the situation as they state that the game did not meet the expectations of the company. The recent backlash that Battlefield faced was a big wake-up call for a lot of developers and could be playing a part in this decision. Microsoft is slated to take over Activision Blizzard by 2023 but it is being reported that the acquisition did not play a part in the decision to delay the game. Performance issues solely is being blamed for the delay. Since Activision is working on a bunch of Call of Duty games, they did release a statement and said we have an exciting slate of premium free to play Call of Duty experience for this year, next year and beyond. We are looking forward to sharing more detail when the time is right.